Well, the way things are going at the moment, I think it is quite reasonable to think we are heading to about four degrees centigrade of warming across this century. That would be utterly devastating. Just remember, the difference between now and an ice age is about five degrees. So we're talking about changes that would normally occur, occur over probably tens of thousands of years, occurring over little more than 100 years. And, and 100 years, in some respects, sounds like a long time. But uh, many of the people listening to this, their children will still be alive in 100 years, and certainly their grandchildren will be. 100 years is just tomorrow, really, in so many respects. And what and would what the world look like? what we do today like? locks in the infrastructure. And what would the world well, look it, like? We will be seeing far more famine, far more famine, drought, uh, floods, changes in food patterns. I think we'll probably st start to see lots more tension within communities. Um, and that means then a lot more tension um, between communities. So um, we see, even in we look at Syria, Syria clearly, clearly wasn't caused by climate change, but the 12 years of drought in that region was an exacerbating factor. And that's with just one year of uh, one degree of warming. As we head towards four degrees centigrade of warming, we're talking about breaking down many of the ecosystems of the world that pollinate our crops, that, that make our air clean for us. So this is a different planet from the one in which we live. And the chaos that will ensue will be bad for our species, for humans, but also indeed, of course, for many other species around the planet. And that's why we have to do everything we can to hold to ideally two, two degrees centigrade, well, to hold for two degrees centigrade and ideally aim for 1.5. I think that's looking very challenging. So let's, let's do everything we can to keep the temperature as low as possible.